Good morning, Cypress Village residents. Welcome to Coffee Chat. Today is Friday, July 28th. I am Katie Amador, your executive assistant, filling in for Ty Morgan, who will be returning to the office on Monday. We have a very informative episode of Coffee Chat planned for you all today. So get comfortable, grab your cup of coffee, stay tuned, and I will catch up with you at the end for some general updates and, of course, birthdays. See you then. Hey, good morning, everybody. Happy Coffee Chat. Uh, a couple updates from the maintenance department. First off, the hot water in the D Tower and C Tower. Uh, we have everything running fairly well right now. There are a couple of point apartments that ha seem to have more trouble than others. Uh, the new hot water heater for the seventh floor of assisted living actually supplies most of the hot water for the D Tower. So we've ordered it. It's supposed to be in by tomorrow. Uh, as of doing this right now, it has not arrived yet. So uh, as soon as it comes in, they'll be here installing it. I would think the latest would be Monday. So if you have a problem with your hot water, let it run for at least five to eight minutes. Um, and if you still have no hot water, call maintenance, concierge, security, depending on the time. I will have people here this weekend working, so just please uh, call and we'll get up there and see what the problem is. Uh, next off, the doctor's offices and the outpatient therapy started this past Monday. Everything is going well. We got about two to three more weeks before it's going to be completed fully. So please check to make sure if you are supposed to have an appointment where you're supposed to go, D145 or B215, the gym make sure you're in the right location for your appointment. Uh, that's all I got this week, so have a great weekend. Hi, Cypress Village, it's Susan McLean, uh, Director of Resident Services, here to give you a couple of updates for next week. So next week, Guardian Pharmacy will be in the Wellness Clinic on Monday and Wednesday from nine until noon. And the medication cycle for this Wednesday, August 2nd, will be the A Tower, as in Alpha. So uh, there's that. And also um, health essential kits. Guardian Pharmacy put together the health essential kits and it's just like a little basic first aid kit that you can purchase for $20. You can either purchase it from Guardian Pharmacy, you can pay them cash, or if, you're, if you have an account set up with them, they can just charge it to your account. Or you can also pick them up from Chrissy and Chrissy can charge it to your Guardian Pharmacy account as well or she will gladly take your money so come on down if you just need a little basic first aid kit for your place and let's see what else do we have going on we have the grief support group taking place tuesday august 1st at 2 p.m in a6 all are welcome and like i've said before in the past you do not you do not have to have experienced a death or anything there's all sorts of grief. And if you just want to come and, you know, uh, get some comfort talking to other people, then come join the grief group on Tuesday in A6 at two o'clock. And for the month of August, there will not be any uh, wellness center orientation and we will not be having a stay well lecture. My right arm is leaving me next week. She's going out for her uh, knee surgery. And so it's just going to be me manning the wellness center and still handling all of my uh, responsibilities as well. So we just decided just to hold off for the month of August, but we will definitely be picking back up in September. So I hope everyone understands. So if you need to see me starting next Thursday through the month of August, head on down to the wellness center. That's where, you're, where you will find me. And uh, as Dave Green said earlier, the construction is moving along. We do have signage down around the wellness center showing where you need to go for podiatry, for lab, for Dr. Inez. If you have any questions or are a little confused, then always hunt me down. I'll point you in the right way. All right, I think that's all I've got for you guys. Y'all have a lovely weekend. Good morning, villagers. Lisa Drew, your CLS director here, coming to you on the last day of July. Let's jump right in. First things first, today is the July birthday bash. There's like 90 of you who have birthdays in July, including myself. So come on down to the veterans lobby this afternoon, check your calendars for details because I have completely forgotten what time we're starting. 
So that's this afternoon. Next thing is, um, let's talk about Clothing 911. So uh, Annette has been very busy. You've been keeping her busy and that's great. We're happy about that. Um, but she has had special requests from some of you to bring the clothes back sooner than her next scheduled day to be here. And she's been doing that, but the clothes are just sitting in our office. And so the new uh, guideline will be, if you want her to come back, she will come back at the two week mark. She will be in a certain place for a certain amount of time. If you don't come to pick up your clothes, she'll take them back home and bring them back on her next scheduled day. She's actually going to be here next Thursday, uh, August 3rd. Um, and um, the other thing is that we cannot take any money in the CLS office. So you'll have to make payment arrangements directly with Annette. So hopefully we can get all these um, bugs ironed out as we figure out a way to make this work for everybody. So I'm glad that you're taking advantage of it and just bear with us as we um, figure out a way to go, okay? So also, um, calendars should be going out Saturday evening. We're on track to have them printed. Um, and um, so look in your mailboxes, look in your cubbies, and um, hopefully you'll find some stuff you wanna do next week. So I'm just gonna leave you with something fun. Next week, Wednesday, August 2nd, is National Ice Cream Sandwich Day. So join us in the main lobby next Wednesday. We'll be giving out ice cream sandwiches. Check your calendar for details. Have a great weekend, everybody. Good afternoon, residents of Cypress Village. Um, on this week's um, edition of uh, Coffee Chat, um, the security office um, has a lot to discuss about parking. Um, so the first thing um, I wanted to tell you is um, this is about five years in the making. Um, and um, despite the fact that I've only been here for two months, um, there's a lot of stuff that I have seen and there's a lot of stuff that we have been trying to fix to clean up. This is, um, like I said, this is data driven. This is something that, that as residents, you are looking for better parking, better um, situations, and we are trying to fix it. It's not going to be a 100% fix because as far as I know, I've, I don't think anybody's had it right or had it perfect. Um, so we're trying to improve it. Um, that is the goal. Um, the goal isn't to take away parking from some people and, and leave you stranded. We're trying to accommodate as many people as we possibly can. Um, so that is the original plan. That is always going to be the plan is to serve our residents the best we can uh, with, with parking. So that's the, that's the end goal. Um, bear with us as we do this. Um, there will be a bit of a grace period here, folks, as we test and try new waters and, and uh, try to make things better. Um, with that being said, uh, we have several reasons. Um, we have an extended wait list. Um, so we have about 12 to 15 uh, people who are looking to purchase uh, places to park. And because of that, um, we are unable to accommodate them. Um, and so the garage spaces are going to be reallocated to um, provide that opportunity for them. Um, uh, also, uh, the hardest part about parking is knowing where to park. So we're trying to eliminate the uh, visitor spots in the garage um, because they typically don't know where to park and they typically park um, in a paid parking spot, which is the last thing we want. Um, so we're trying to clean that up um, and make that um, better because we don't want to put people who just are uninformed about our parking policies right next to the same people who pay a premium for parking. Um, additionally, for those of you out in our houses, we are not trying to cut you out of the parking at the towers. 
um, we're actually going to be um, opening up some other spaces um, in the circle lot so it'll be closer. We're also trying to police the lots um, nearest uh, the towers so that our employees are parking where they need to um, and not um, parking in the employee lots the way they should be. So we're trying to get everybody to park where they should um, because that's the that's the difficulty. That's that's my job and that's that's a tough one. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna not gonna tell you anything different. Um, so we're we're looking at redirecting people to the right places. Um, so that's the that's the plan going forward. Additionally, if um, if you decide to come in after five, um, there will be some spaces in the garage that will be available because after hours um, and weekend parking is still going to be available underneath for housing residences. So, um, so you'll have um, some places to park there as well. Um, we're also going to be adding some parking to the main circle lot designated for homes uh, because once again we're trying to accommodate the needs of um, of residences both in the towers and in the homes i think that's about it i hope you all have a wonderful day um, if you have questions please be sure to contact the security office and i i can field those questions um, once again we're going to be looking for um, uh, grace in the next couple of weeks as we tackle this new um, change and we don't know all the missing pieces but we're going to work it with what we have uh, to make things better so thank you good morning cypress village it's dawn here with ihs cypress village's own home care agency i wanted to thank those of you that came out and participated in our fall prevention program we had a really good turnout and I did want to talk about that a little bit because there are two um, risks, basically, that um, all of our residents you know, have. And that is I make, that can change everything, not for the better. One is suffering a fall and an injury. And then the other one would be medication mismanagement. Those are the two things we see when the fire trucks come and people have to go to the hospital. So those are things that us, we here at IHS are really trying to prevent to keep our residents happy, healthy, and injury-free. So the, the highest rate of, of falls usually occur during certain activities like uh, showering, out shopping, doing the laundry, um, putting things in storage. Those are the biggest times that um, a fall may occur that, that we've noticed statistically. IHS can step in. We can do assisting with showers. We can do shopping and errands for you or with you. We can come and help organize. We can help do laundry. We even have a pick up and drop off laundry service. Let us know if we can help. We're here again to keep you healthy and injury free here at Cypress Village. The other thing we can do is medication management. Um, a lot of times people end up having to go to the hospital. They take too much medication or they're not taking their medication. We can assist with that. We can set up the meds for you or your loved one, and we can even do med reminders as many times a day as needed. So we are here to help you, keep you independent, happy, and healthy. So let us know if we can help and enjoy your weekend. Okay, I'm back with a few updates for all of you residents out there in Cypress Village. But first of all, I would like to say thank you to all of the residents who wrote me sweet cards and messages and sent well wishes to me on my maternity leave. I had a wonderful three months with our new little babies, Sophia and Pedro, and their big sister, Ava. Um, I will include a picture here and I hope to see some of you at coffee chat in person today. I'm happy to share more pictures and stories from my maternity leave, uh, but definitely glad to be back here at the village with um, my Cypress Village family.
I would also like to give you all an update on resident directories. This is from Laurel. Beginning on Tuesday at the concierge desk, residents can stop by the um, desk to review the new resident directory. You can check your name, your email, your phone number, review it for accuracy, and confirm with the concierge desk. Laurel is also going to send out a digital link to the new resident directory so you can review it that way if you would like as well if there are any changes or you need to make a correction or an edit to your listing that information does need to be submitted to laurel or one of the concierge employees by august 4th at 5 p.m at which point those directories are going to be sent to the printer so that we can have them in time for distribution which will begin at the rescheduled luau on august 17th in addition to resident directory distribution at that time we are also going to be distributing the resident satisfaction surveys so as many of you know um, in the past typically annually we distribute resident satisfaction surveys um, for independent living residents they will be distributed one per resident Again, that's one per resident versus one per household. Um, I will include a timeline of events for the resident satisfaction surveys on the weekly update. But just to give you all a brief overview, the first opportunity for you to pick up your paper survey will be on August 17th at the Luau. We will also have some other subsequent events, one on August 24th in the Veterans Lobby one on September 1st in Egret Hall during our coffee chat time. And the final event will be on September 6th. Uh, we will be doing a little wine and cheese gathering in the main lobby. Um, in addition to all of those events, you are welcome to stop by the concierge desk and pick up your resident survey anytime after August 17th. Um, they will be pre-postmarked. So once you've completed your survey, you can send it right back in and we will give progress reports throughout the resident survey um, window, which closes on September 7th. So stay tuned for more information, check your weekly update, um, and we will also be putting some information in the activities newsletter regarding the planned events. With that being said, let's roll right in to birthdays. Today, July 28th, we have two birthdays, Fred Shoemaker and Marsha Brucker. Happy birthday, you two. Tomorrow, July 29th, we ha also have two birthdays, Miss Julie Bryce, happy birthday, Julie, and August Klein. On July 30th, we've got one birthday girl, Miss Carol Mincer. Happy birthday, Miss Carol. On July 31st, we've got three birthdays, We've got Miss Lunell Medley, Miss Marianne Wagner, and none other than Detroit's um, most famous news anchor, Mort Krim. Happy birthday, you three. On August 1st, we've got Miss Betty Tomlinson. Happy birthday, Miss Betty. As well as Ann Towery. Happy birthday, Ann. On August 2nd, we've got three birthdays, Caroline Solomon, Harry Lee, and Miss Sarah Suarez Smith, happy birthday to you all, or Feliz Cumpleaños, should I say, Miss Sarah. And um, I'll wrap it up on August 3rd. We've also got another three birthdays, Mr. Caleb Herndon, Miss Elise Bell, and Mary Jane Sipple. Happy birthday to you three. I hope you all have enjoyed today's episode of Coffee Chat. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and a beautiful weekend. And I look forward to seeing you around the village. Bye. I can shut it off. Shut it off! You're going to use me in the bloopers like she did last week. Nah, I won't do that. You don't do bloopers? No. Lies. <laughs> <laughs>